Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So we're gonna do a few um, variations on a single leg bridge today with a focus on keeping the pelvis in extension as you work with only one leg at a time. So if I come onto my back and I'm just gonna face away from the camera so you can see my knees and pelvis a little bit more clearly. Um, we would first want to sink the feet, unweight the back of the pelvis, and lift the pelvis up into our bridge. And so if we want to challenge that single leg, I'm going to put more weight into my right foot and float my left foot just off the mat. So it's not a big lift of the foot. I'm not coming into a tabletop here. I'm just hovering that foot off the floor, trying to keep both sides of the pelvis even. And then I'm gonna roll down the middle of my spine, right? Trying to release the back of the body into the mat and all the way back down to the floor. And so what will happen often when we start to lift one leg off is that we get into the bridge and we lift this leg high. So now this hip is in flexion and this hip is in extension. And so if we're wanting to work the extension, we want to keep both hips even in extension to roll down. So that's the challenge of this variation. And you feel that work in the standing leg and foot. If we try that on the other side, I'll show you what might happen and what you might see. So we sink the feet, float the hips up into our horizontally, neutrally aligned bridge. If I lift my right foot, I might see that I drop the hip or I might over rotate to overcompensate. So you're really trying to encourage your clients to keep the pelvis um, neutral and unrotated. This leg stays in extension and I really have to focus to make sure I'm rolling down the middle of my spine and not one side or the other. And especially for me, as I get down to the lumbar area, it becomes much more of a challenge. So that's one variation where you float up and you lift the leg and you roll down. If you'd like to give them even more of a challenge, you could start at the bottom, hover the pelvis just off the mat and bring the foot off at the bottom. And then they're lifting up into their bridge on one leg. At the top, you could either place the leg down and then roll down, or you could keep that foot hovering off and have the challenge of rolling back down to the mat. And so here again, trying not to over um, flex through the floating leg that's lifted and trying to roll through the center of the spine, uncurling the pelvis evenly all the way back down to the mat. And so I really like this version of single leg bridge, keeping the extension in the front of the pelvis on both sides to help not only encourage more extension in the front of the hip, which most of us need, um, but also to work the back of the glute of the standing leg and hamstring a little bit differently. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.